Why did Pluto stop being a planet? Is there a planet that will become the ninth, and where do scientists plan to find it? I suggest we embark on an exciting and thrilling journey through space to uncover this mystery. Why is there talk about a ninth planet? The history of the search for the ninth planet dates back to the early 20th century. In 1930, astronomer Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto. For a long time, the world considered it the ninth planet of the solar system. However, by the mid-20th century, astronomers began to suspect that there might be something more lurking beyond Pluto. The reason for the speculation was the unexplained anomalies in the orbits of giant planets like Uranus and Neptune. The anomalies pointed to the presence of a massive object beyond their orbits. Then the astronomical community got thinking. But what if Pluto isn't the only large planet in the outer part of the solar system? In 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet. So where is the true ninth planet? In 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet. But where is the true ninth planet then? Astronomers all over the world are searching for it. It remains a hypothetical object, but thanks to new technologies and research, the existence of the ninth planet is becoming increasingly likely. In 2016, American scientists Michael Brown and Konstantin Batygin announced the existence of indirect evidence for a massive object in the outer regions of the solar system. They were based on observations of the orbits of six Kuiper Belt objects that showed strange behavior. The orbits seemed to be subject to the gravitational influence of something huge and distant. Scientists suggested that this could be the ninth planet, with a mass 10 times that of Earth and an orbit, 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune. If the planet only exists in scientists' guesses, then why did Pluto lose its status as the ninth planet? The decision about the masses. In 2006, astronomers made a decision that shook the whole world. The key moment came when the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, gathered to revise the definition of a planet. At that time, several large objects had been discovered in the Kuiper Belt, the region beyond Neptune's orbit, one of which, Eris, was comparable in size to Pluto. So, the Astronomical Union proposed three conditions that defined the status of a planet. An object must orbit the Sun, have enough mass to assume a round shape under its own gravity, clear its orbit of other objects. Pluto only met the first two criteria. Its orbit crosses Neptune's orbit, and in the vicinity of its orbit, it shares space with many other objects in the Kuiper Belt. From this perspective, Pluto wasn't the dominant object in its zone, and in 2006, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This decision helped avoid an increase in the number of full-fledged planets every time a new large object was discovered in the Kuiper Belt. However, debates about this are still ongoing. Many astronomers and space enthusiasts are advocating for Pluto's return to the ranks of planets. What do you think? Does Pluto deserve the title of the ninth planet? Where does the name Planet X come from? Why is the hypothetical ninth planet called Planet X? The very name evokes thoughts of the mysteries and secrets of space. But where did this term come from, and why did it stick specifically for the ninth planet? The history of the term Planet X goes back to the early 20th century, when astronomer Percival Lowell noticed some oddities in the movements of Uranus and Neptune. In 1905, Lowell proposed a hypothesis about an unknown planet beyond Neptune's orbit that could be causing such deviations with its gravitational pull. He called it Planet X, where X represented the symbol of the unknown. Lowell didn't manage to find the mysterious object during his lifetime. In 1930, by pure chance, Pluto was found in the area predicted by Lowell. But Pluto was considered too small to have such a significant impact on the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. The idea of an unknown planet persisted, and Planet X continued to live on as a symbol of the undiscovered. The search for Lowell was revived in the 21st century. At that time, it was suggested that there's a massive object beyond Pluto's orbit that influences the trajectories of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. This object was named Planet X, which sounds thrilling and emphasizes that it's still just hypothetical and is still waiting to be discovered. But where are astronomers planning to search for the ninth planet, and what do they expect to find? The Kuiper Belt. 
But first, I suggest we figure out what the Kuiper Belt actually is. In this video, I'll be talking about it more than once, and I think it'll be helpful to understand what it actually is. Beyond the solar system, at its very edge, lies a vast, almost unexplored world where millions of icy objects are hidden. That's exactly where the mysterious Kuiper Belt is located. It's like a kind of dump of materials that were left over after the formation of the planets and the sun. A few billion years ago, chaos, cold, and pressure brought stars, rocks, and icy chunks together. The Kuiper Belt is somewhat similar to the asteroid belt, but is tens of times larger and more massive. If the asteroid belt is hidden between Mars and Jupiter, then the Kuiper Belt begins approximately 30 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. The temperatures here are so low, minus 253 degrees Celsius, that rock and ice remain in almost untouched condition. From this distant point, the Sun appears to be just a bright point among the stars, giving off virtually no heat. Kuiper Belt objects have orbits, elongated and tilted. Understanding may help prove the ninth planet. They're elongated and tilted, as if they're in some chaotic dance around the Sun. Scientists are confident that unraveling the structure of the belt will bring us closer to understanding the mysterious ninth planet, whose existence researchers are still trying to prove. Let's take a look at what objects have already been discovered in the Kuiper Belt. Eris. The most mysterious object in the solar system is the planetoid Eris. It's named after the goddess of chaos and strife, and it really has stirred up quite a bit of confusion in the scientific community. In 2005, astronomer Michael Brown discovered Eris, and its size and mass turned out to be so close to Pluto that scientists were faced with a question. Should it be considered the tenth planet or should a new classification be created? Heated debates erupted in scientific circles, and Pluto was no longer considered a planet and was demoted to a new class. From that moment on, they and Eris were called dwarf planets. So, what makes Eris unique? It has a high density and is even more massive than Pluto. Its diameter is about 2,326 kilometers, almost the same as Pluto's. The most interesting thing is Eris's orbit. The planetoid moves along an elongated orbit that takes it 98 astronomical units away from the Sun. Eris's path lies far beyond the orbit of Neptune and even Pluto. If you wanted to see it up close, you'd have to travel almost to the edge of the solar system. Eris's path lies far beyond the orbit of Neptune and even Pluto. If you wanted to see it up close, you would have to travel almost to the edge of the solar system. Eris is also really bright. Its surface is covered in frozen methane, like a blanket of snow, which makes it stand out even from a distance. The temperature on Eris is close to absolute zero, reaching minus 253 degrees Celsius. You won't find such cold temperatures anywhere near the Sun. Eris has a moon named Dysnomia, which is just over 300 kilometers in size. Make Make The brightest inhabitant of the Kuiper Belt has been nicknamed the Easter Bunny. Sounds surprising, right? Make Make is the third largest object in this part of the solar system. It was discovered on March 31, 2005. And... And since this was just a few days after Easter, astronomers named it the Easter Bunny. Later, the planetoid was renamed after the god of abundance and creator of humans in the mythology of Easter Island. The orbit of the planetoid Monimake lies beyond Pluto, but sometimes it appears closer to Earth than Pluto itself, due to its elongated trajectory. This is one of those phenomena that makes planetoids so mysterious and difficult to study. Makemake has an unusual reddish-brown hue, which scientists believe is due to a layer of frozen methane on its surface. This color makes it bright and noticeable even from such a great distance. In terms of size, Makemake is only smaller than Pluto and Eris. This color makes it bright and noticeable even from such a great distance. In terms of size, Makemake is only smaller than Pluto and Eris. Its diameter is about 1,360 kilometers. Well, the next object we're going to talk about is going to surprise you with its shape. Ready. A space snowman. Far out in the Kuiper Belt, there's an unusual cosmic object that looks like a giant snowman. NASA scientists named it Oricot. It was discovered in 2019. Oricot has a unique shape. Two flattened parts connected together, almost like a real snow figure. Scientists believe that Oricot formed billions of years ago from two objects. 
that slowly came together and gently merged into one without any powerful collisions, just under the influence of their mutual gravity. Oricot was discovered using the Hubble telescope back in 2014 and for a long time it was just a tiny dot on the screen. But on January 1, 2019, the spacecraft New Horizons took the first close-up picture of the snowman, flying just 50,000 kilometers away from it. So, what's inside this planetoid? Scientists believe that there could be ancient ice there, about 4.5 billion years old. This makes it one of the oldest objects in the solar system. What else is hiding out there on the distant edges of space? Haumea Haumea is a cosmic object with an unusual name and an unusual shape. This dwarf planet, located in the Kuiper Belt, doesn't look like the familiar sphere we're used to, it looks more like an elongated rugby ball. The reason for such a strange shape is its incredibly fast rotation. Haumea completes a full rotation on its axis in just four hours. It was first discovered by Michael Brown in 2004. The planetoid is almost entirely made up of heavy rocks, covered by a thin layer of water ice that reflects sunlight. Haumea has unique moons Hayaka and the Maka. The larger Hayaka, with a diameter of just over 300 kilometers, has an icy surface. And it may have formed from fragments of Haumea itself. Another astonishing detail. Haumea has rings. This is a rarity for objects in the Kuiper Belt. And really, for something other than gas giants. Scientists believe that in the past, Haumea might have collided with another celestial body, and the rings are the result of that cosmic disaster. The rings rotate about 2,000 kilometers away from the planetoid, but they're pretty dark, reflecting only 5% of the light. But let's get back to the mystery of the ninth planet. So where is it, after all? The search for Planet X. When scientists decided to search for the ninth planet, known as Planet X, they faced the challenge of studying one of the darkest and least explored areas of our solar system, the outer Kuiper Belt. This belt is located far beyond Neptune's orbit and includes icy objects and dwarf planets. Some of them move in orbits that are hard to explain. This led astronomers to think that there might be a massive object hidden in that area, exerting its influence on them. Mike Brown and Konstantin Batijan, scientists from the California Institute of Technology, were the first to notice the unusual orbits of some distant objects. They suggested that this could be caused by a massive planet located about 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune, completing a full orbit around the Sun in roughly 10,000 to 20,000 years. Their research showed that Planet X might be in a counterphase, with the other planets, meaning its orbit is tilted at a certain angle and it could be located in an area opposite to the orbits of the other planets. Scientists believe that the search for this planet can continue using powerful telescopes that scan the sky, like those in Chile or Hawaii, in observatories located at high altitudes. Despite the challenges, each discovery of new icy objects in the Kuiper Belt brings humanity closer to unraveling the mystery of Planet X. An alternative theory, the mysterious Planet X, is a topic that sparks the hottest debates in the world of astronomy. Some scientists consider its existence unlikely, while others claim it might be hiding somewhere on the outskirts of the solar system. Just imagine, what if it's not a planet at all, but a tiny black hole, completely undetectable by our telescopes? Some scientists consider its existence unlikely, while others claim that it may be hiding somewhere on the outskirts of the solar system. System. Just imagine, what if it's not a planet at all, but a tiny black hole, completely undetectable by our telescopes? Some researchers suggest that finding such a black hole might only be possible using gamma rays or specialized space probes. These devices could detect the tiniest bursts of energy coming from this invisible mass. If the theory is correct, then somewhere far away, in the unlit depths of space, there could be an object dense and heavy enough to warp the space around it but not emitting any light that we could see. Meanwhile, NASA is not yet ruling out the existence of Planet X. Hidden in the darkness itself, it may not be just a myth, but a real object that is waiting for its time to be revealed to the world. Which of these options will turn out to be true, only time will tell. Well, friends, today you learned that there may be a planet, X hiding at the edge of our solar system. It's possible that it might not even be a planet at all, but a tiny black hole, invisible to Earth-based telescopes. The cosmos remains full of mysteries and unexplained phenomena.
Today, a person can't just send a ship out to find this planet. But even with the creation of a spacecraft, the journey will be very long. The mission will take almost 15 years just to reach the dwarf planet Haumea, while scientists can only observe space using ground-based telescopes and space observatories. If you're captivated by questions like these and fascinated by amazing discoveries, we have some great news. We're looking for talented people who can help us create amazing and unique videos. If you can edit, voice over videos in different languages or write creative scripts, we will be happy to work with you. Message our Telegram bot, the link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new episodes with exciting discoveries.